What up everyone, especially our fellow farmers in Pixels. This is Art Diced from BCH Guild, and welcome to my channel. This is my first video for Pixels. I actually decided to make content dedicated to Pixels, because there are actually a lot of new players asking for tips and guides on how to progress in the game, especially in our Facebook group, Pixels PH Community. Shout out to all members, by the way. With that said, let's continue with the video. Today we're introducing a new Google extension for Pixels. The name of the extension is Pixels Game Assistant. You can actually just search it on Google, but for safety purposes, I'm going to link it to the description of this video. And nope, you will not get banned when using this extension because there is no automation involved. First impression, what I'm already loving about this extension is the simplicity. They add a small button on the lower right side of your screen Click on it and the Google Chrome side panel will appear. If you find it annoying while playing the game, then just click it again and it closes. It feels like it is built in game. Now let's take a look at the tools that this extension offers. On the market tab, it says, when you create a new item to sell in the marketplace, the pending sell orders list of the item will be shown here. Also the price per item and quantity input will be automatically filled up. So this offers a bit of convenience for people who always want to sell on the current lowest price in the market listing. Let's test it out if this actually works. So let's try and sell one Mukchuk Mead. And it automatically inputs the lowest price. And it also shows you the current players who are selling in the market. Now let's go to the Timer tab. So basically this is a tool wherein you can add custom timers. Once you add a timer, it goes to the active timers, and when it's done, it shows up in finished section. Very simple tool, but very helpful if you're tracking multiple industries or even land routes. Now on the task tab, this will show your current orders in the task board. Upon delivering an order, it will also reflect on the extension with the reset timer. Once it resets, you have to go back to Hazel and open the task board to record the new order. Let's go to Home tab and check out some features that they plan to add soon. Global industry state tracking, this will have tree timers and land search options. Intelligent market data analytics. So basically the same form of market data you see in pixels.tips, guild integration. Now this interesting guild only chatting integrated with Discord. Very interesting, guild lands information and guild tasks. Now this is something and I'm getting really excited because this will be a great convenience for the next pixels update. Suggest a daily to-do list based on your level, then storage management. The list of upcoming tools or features will definitely be very useful, especially if Pixels releases the Chapter 2 revamp. Pixels Game Assistant looks so promising, guys. I'll definitely upload another vid for this extension once they release an update. This preview version is completely free of charge. The upcoming full version may have some premium features requiring paid subscription, and some advanced guild features are available only for participating guild members. However, even without any paid subscription, all Pixels gamers will find this utility a must-have for the... to be able to enjoy the game even more. Since you made it till the end of the video, guys, I'll add this bonus tip. If you're already in mid-game and you actually have so many list of lands you need to visit every day, you can actually just install the Chrome extension Note Sidebar, just copy-paste your list of lands, and done. You can easily access this in tandem with Pixel's Game Assistant, since they both utilizing the Google side panel feature. You're welcome. That's it for our video guys. Remember to keep it farmer friendly, and I'll see you on the next one.